Welcome to the London Preview Event 2017. With us now is the musical ambassador to Austria at the Eurovision Song Contest this year. In semi-final two, it's Nathan Trent next to us. How are you, Nathan? Thank you. I'm very fine. I'm doing very well. I'm very happy. How come you have an English-speaking name, English-sounding name? Well, my, my, my name is uh, Nathanael. That's my original name. And I wanted to do something more international. So I added Trent so to have a, like an international-sounding name just yeah. for the stage name. Fantastic idea. How did it work out for you to come to the Eurovision Song Contest? Did you have a national selection? It was an international pre-selection, but it was internal. Mm -hmm. So the, the thing, the thing was, I just posted my my first single, and Eva Hadfocha was so cool as to um, ask me if I wanted to join. I was like, yeah, of course, I would love to. So I was part of the internal selection um, pool of candidates, mm -hmm. and then after a long procedure, like a long process, um, they finally decided that I could be the representative. So. And now you are. And now, now I you are. Yeah. You're really uh, full of cheerfulness about this Eurovision craze. Are you a yeah. fan of this event yourself? Yes, I really am. I, I, I love the message that it gives because, um, you know, the people are so positive and this huge, huge amount of euphoric um, madness yeah. that's here. It's, it's so refreshing and I, I love because I love to be positive as well mm -hmm. and to get this kind of feedback and, 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 and support is amazing. Now the song is running on air. Yes. Tell us the message about the song and of course, how can you run on air? Uh, well, it's more of a metaphorical thing. Um, it stands for the ups and downs in, 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 in your life and um, it, it, it just should be something to remind you that you can believe in yourself and you mm -hmm. need to be motivated to go on whatever whatever happens and uh, I needed a motivation myself. When I wrote it, I was in, in a position in my life where I was kind of unsure and I, I needed it to get me back on track and that helped me a lot as we see. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Uh, how will you be staging the song in, in Kiev? Oh, that's a surprise. I won't tell you. Ah, <laughs> how much do we have to pay you for getting any information? You won't get anything. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so, uh, um, have you been promoting your song around the other Eurovision countries yet? Not yet. <coughs> sorry, uh, not yet. London is my first one, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'll be headed to uh, Amsterdam, to, to Tel Aviv, to Madrid. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about this. So, what what is in the plan for you for the future? After to your vision song contest. Do you stay with music? Absolutely, yes. Full-time uh, musician? You are? Yeah, I would love to. Um, and uh, I'm already. I already have some new tracks that I want to release. Mm -hmm. So I'm ready. I'm ready to, to get my music out there. I think I read about you that you also started or tried in Germany uh, yeah. to take part in the national final there. Exactly. I I, um, I had my best friend who sent the link of my video, and they invited me, and they selected me, mm -hmm. one of the 33 candidates, and were so kind to be so open-minded because they knew about Austria and I said you guys I, I'm so honored to be here but um, we still have Austria going on so mm -hmm. Austria was was faster but Germany was so supportive and so kind I couldn't be happier it was amazing amazing experience you're, you're very young uh, what is your first memory of Eurovision itself Stefan Raab Bade Hade Ah, from 2000 fantastic is it 2000 right? yeah I was a very little kid back then but yeah. um, that's my first um, memory and oh. then I started watching it in 2010. Mm -hmm. so. And have you any favorite uh, entries of, of uh, the Eurovision Song Contest? Uh, Euphoria is one of the songs that really stuck in my head. Yeah, amazing, amazing, perfect, fantastic. Perfect. Um, now let's see uh, about Kiev. Have you ever been to Ukraine itself? What do you no. know about Ukraine? No, I don't. I, I, I need to know a lot more and then I'm happy that I go there. Everybody says that mm -hmm. the people are lovely, that the city is beautiful and I can't wait to get there. Um, Who is part of your team actually? Will you be doing the whole thing alone on stage or is anybody with you? Oh, I have I have some friends of mine that will be uh, helping me out with some uh, vocals and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I have a huge team that supports me. I'm so lucky to have people that really uh, want to create the vision I have and I can be so hands-on on the project. Mm -hmm. that, that's amazing. You, you seem to be so relaxed on, about this, uh, so happy and... and uh, I'm happy, I'm happy. Real, relaxed, I have a sort of a... a butterfly. A butterfly. <laughs> just positive. one, just one. Love it. But how do you cope with the pressure? That, because you'll be the ambassador for your country at uh, Eurovision. Mm -hmm. So how do you cope with the pressure? It's, it's, a, it's a huge pressure, but it's a positive pressure. It's a good pressure because I, 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 I really am able to represent the country with my music. So that's the, that's the best thing that can happen to me. Okay. Then, Nathan, I think um, social media has been very important to you in the way you've 
produced your music and yeah. you've got it listened to. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, social media is, I think it's an amazing thing to connect people and it's amazing to um, to see how many uh, supporters you can have. I get so many messages from kind people that really say that they like the song, they like uh, how I, how I, um, how I present it and that's, I think that's so amazing that you can get di directly in touch with people uh, who, who like what you do, so best present ever. Excellent. Nathan, all the best of luck at the Eurovision Song Contest 2017. Do it well for Austria. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you.